we're going to take you through some basic pasta shapes. Now, there are hundreds of pasta shapes. They can be really daunting. This is our guide to pasta shapes. We're going to talk you through some of the basic clusters and groups that go really great with certain sauces. So starting off, the strips. Yes, yeah, strip yeah. pastas. Spaghetti is probably the thinnest. You want it with the lighter sauces. Linguini. Linguini is basically a spaghetti squished. What linguini are brilliant with is lighter sauces, so fish sauces or sauces that you don't want to dominate the flavour with the pasta. Whereas tagliatelle and pappardelle really good with slightly heavier sauces, so a bolognese. But these actually unravel, don't they, yeah. in the water to form the strips. It just picks up all the nuggets of that meat. Yeah. And that's why, actually, in Italy, they never serve you spaghetti with bolognese, which is completely ironic, because in this country, that's the dish. Well, but whatever you prefer, like, each to their own. You absolutely. Know, but you'll struggle to pick up the meat with these, whereas with the tagliatelle or the pappardelle, lot easier to soak up those juices. This cluster is probably your more classic, you know, restaurants in the UK often serve fusilli or penne. Again, probably better with a weightier sauce. We use this with our tomato and capers and tuna sauce. And these ones here are rigatoni, which have a nice big hole for keeping any hidden bits of tuna or Meats. capers or whatever's in your sauce. In this third cluster, orecchiette literally means little ears. A very traditional type of pasta, but again, this little groove picks up lovely sauces. If you've got anything with a bit more meaty consistency or porcini mushrooms, brilliant, brilliant. Or lentils is another one. Yeah, a lentil pasta, but I love farfalle. Firstly, I think they look beautiful. Farfalle means little butterfly. These are actually a really easy one to make because it's just a rectangle squished yeah. with fresh pasta, so it was always fun to do. These, these ones. ones? Yeah, these rotini, which rotelle. rotelle. Kids love shapes that are a little bit more unusual. I am sorry, but I'm a little bit obsessed with these. And we're cheating a little bit here because I know we're talking about pasta sauces. This little cluster here, you wouldn't make a pasta sauce from, but you'd add them to soups and stews. Yeah. And it just gives that little bit of a body to a soup or... I'd say we were brought up eating brodo, which is chick homemade chicken broth with any one of these inside and parmigiano was our version of cheese on toast. Yeah. Essentially, it was baby food for us, but even as adults, students, we used to yeah, practice Yeah, live soups. off this in university. These ones here, orzo, it does look a little bit like rice, but it is pasta. And again, these ones, the texture of them when you eat them in a soup or a stew is like absolutely... Like little nuggets, aren't they? Yeah, really tasty and kids love them. But the best ones by far for me are the stars. little stars. <laughs> yeah. So these are some of our favourites, but I'm sure there's some out there that we haven't even yeah. discovered. So we'd love to hear from you. Write in the comments box about what shapes you cook with, with what recipes, and, and yeah, get in touch. We'd love to hear from you.